Well, that was anticlimactic. A flash of light, but no resounding boom. What good is such a light if Earth doesn't meet sky? What? Oh my. It seems we have transported to a... a heaven. A strangely familiar one for some reason, but I don't recall ever moving to such a place before. Good idea. Something about this place makes me want to explore too. I am compelled to step this way. There are gears here that I remember. A most intriguing place. Turn on the individual components, at least two of them. Place the fuel of your choice in the hopper, and then press either the tiger or the dragon button. Before you do all that, you should make sure you know what configuration you want. Otherwise, boom! <laughs> you never know what might happen. Well, given the rather fantastic nature of the furnace, I would bet that whoever has them doesn't really know what they are for. You found one previously in an unrelated endeavor. I'm afraid that is just the kind of continued uncertainty we will have to deal with. Keep your eyes open. All right, all right. Have a look around, or whatever it is you do. Come and find me when you want to go back. That's it. Come on, Kang. I don't even want to gush about this place. Just get it all out of your system now before we do anything important. Look at this. It's a marvel. A wonder of monumental proportions. A phenomenal piece of unbelievable craftsmanship. I haven't the slightest idea. But it must be important, wouldn't you think? I mean, just look at it. These machines, they are manipulators, fabricators. They bully energy into... into something. They can be activated, deactivated, on and off, off and on. You, you see? I... I can only come to one conclusion. Lord Lau's furnace. Narawa ir kwanuk noka okir okir ifuir wo. Legendary, mythical, and overrated in some respects. But if anyone else has a better origin for such machines as this, I'm not hearing it. Artificer to the celestial bureaucracy, he creates machines that themselves also create. Although I'd make them a little less delicate had I his resources. Still, he is an inspirational figure for inventors. And we are in his playhouse. You select the machines you want to activate, and then the tiger or the dragon button. Like this. Don't worry. The individual machines are not activated. I think the switches must be thrown on at least two of the components before it will do well, whatever it does. You also have to select a fuel. It looks like there are a few pieces of cinnabar in the contraption, but it may accept others as well. Well, judging by the pile of ashes I found near the controls, if you do it wrong, it either creates a nice warm fire or burns the person standing here to a crisp. It looks like a powerful thing, so just guessing at the possible configurations will probably get you into trouble and waste the cinnabar in the machine. So, you might want to be careful how you go about it. Things like this usually have directions. Uh, no, recipes. No, that's not it. Um, uh, configurations. That's it. Very true. Perhaps you should give them a try. They didn't mean much before, but now we may have the tools to make something of them. We sure do, Kang. So yeah, this is Lord Lao's furnace. Um, basically, what you can do in this place is you can make techniques. But you need certain things. First, you need to have the right configuration. Then you need to have the right fuel for the configuration. Then you need to use the right machines with the right fuel 
and a configuration. And yeah. It's not confusing at all, I swear. So there is actually a configuration in Lord Lao's Furnace too, but we can't make it yet. Well, maybe you can. I can't, because I missed the fuel for it back in the pirate base. But that's okay, there's another way to get fuel. And here we have the Cal Bazaar. Bez Bazaar, whatever you say. That's actually the fuel for the configuration we already have. Which we can make right now. And we will be making it right now. Configurations all kind of read the same. They're just a bunch of, like, gibberishy nonsense. But they do say what you need to do. Like, this one says foul-smelling water tainted by the whatever, whatever, whatever. Usually the configurations just give, like, hints. Like, the applauding stack is actually the, uh, the clapper chimney. And sometimes they'll just straight up say what you need to use. And the water wheel, that's another one that's just straight up there. And then the dragon's help. After you use the machines, the right ones you need to use, you need to press either the dragon or tiger button to make it all work. And here's a configuration we already have. A madman with eyes of metal, huh? This is one of the more gibberish ones. But it's not that hard to figure out. The tiger. Stone of the cow, huh? All but the cogs are watching. Well, this all sounds neat. How about we stop reading about all this cool stuff we could be doing and actually, you know, do it. So, we have a bunch of machines here. There's five total plus the fuel hopper. There's also a reset switch in case you make a mistake. Here's the water wheel. You get a little cutscene the first time you use a machine to kind of show off, you know, the machine. Yeah, look at that water wheel. It sure is wheeling that water. I, uh... Yep. Right over here, we got the clapper chimney. So far, we are following that recipe we just read. Well, not recipe. Configuration. Configuration. You gotta call it the right thing. But we're not actually gonna make that just yet. There are some easter eggs to this place, so we're going to show one off really quick. Here's the conductor right there. We'll use that in a minute. Gotta use the cranking cauldron for this thing, though. This is really interesting, I know. If we do that, and then we press the tiger button... Oh no, sex change! Ah! Oh, 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 that wacky Lord Laos furnace. Hey, hey, wait, why was Lady Ming wearing a top? That's not right. Ming is not wearing a shirt. Lady Ming should not have been wearing a shirt. That's just that's just that's just makes sense. Magically gives you clothes too. Uh. So let us make the configuration of the horse because we can't make the other one. Now the configuration did say something about a cranking cauldron, so let's just use that. Let's not use the whirling cogs at all here because we don't need to use that. We do need to use the conductor. Ah, electricity. I miss electricity. Well, now that we've done that, let's use the clapper chimney. And the water wheel. And then, he's got to put the fuel in, because we didn't do that yet. We have another fuel, actually, the bar of nickeled iron, but we don't have anything to do with it yet, so we're just going to not worry about that for now. Let's just stick the cow bizarre. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go bizarre in there. Now, we just got to press the right button. 
and that would be the tiger button. And Song of the Spirit, plus five spirit. There we go. Excellent! What an amazing machine! Now, if we can find more configurations, just imagine what we could do here. Yes, amazing indeed. Of course, without more configurations, we'll never know just what it can really do. And we're pretty much done here. So let's get out of here. A most intriguing place. Very well. In the meantime, I will try to see if I can learn anything more about this interesting machine. I can always bring us back here later. <laughs>